So you may have just picked up an iPhone and you might be trying to figure out which applications are the best ones to actually send and receive money from. Now, I will tell you, there's a lot of different apps that are available. There's probably like three or four that are my, my favorite ones that I typically use on an everyday basis. But keep in mind, you do have a built-in wallet application that can allow you to send and receive money, even on iMessage. So if you're on your iPhone in particular, you can use this particular application to basically send or receive money. And even within iMessage itself, you can actually go ahead and send somebody a message and you can actually send them, you know, cash if you need to. So there should be a little wallet app, you know, option or a Venmo or like a paying option that you have. So keep that in mind. If you're on iMessage, you can always send money via an iPhone to a wallet. So that's kind of the first one. It's an easy one. It's built right in and it's a really, really cool option as well. Now, another very popular option that a lot of people use is Venmo. Now, Venmo is probably one of the more popular ones available. This is one that I use probably second to the most. It's probably actually the number one I use. And this application has a lot of features built inside of it as well. So within Venmo, they highlight themselves. I mean, you can send and receive money very easily. So you can send you know, one cent all the way up to hundreds of thousands of dollars probably. I don't know how it works. You can also earn debit card cash back at top brands, which is pretty cool. You can ditch the debit card fees, so you know there's not a debit card fee associated with it because you're just sending money via their application. You can manage shared expenses, and it's almost like an, a social media. So you can even see right here, kind of what the vibe is. You can see other people, like what other people sent. You can see if, you, but you can also hide your, you know, send and receive stuff as well. So it's not like you have to share with everyone, but it's still a really, really cool thing. And I will tell you, for the most part, it allows you to kind of split bills very easily. There's like a built-in like crypto thing, which is pretty crazy. But I will tell you, this is one of my favorite ones. It's probably the one that I use more so than all the other ones. Cash App is another very popular one that a lot of people use as well. So this is one of the more popular ones. It's I would say the UI may be nicer than Venmo. It seems like less kind of in your face, but it's still very nice. It reminds me of the Fidelity application, which is kind of interesting. So you can save when you shop. You can get paid up to two days faster compared to some competition. You can also buy Bitcoin inside of it if you want to. I don't know why they highlight this. This is so random. You can invest with as little as $1, so it's like an investing platform and a cash sending platform as well. I wouldn't say, I mean, this and Venmo are basically kind of the same thing. I would say if you're just kind of going from Venmo to Cash App, it depends on what the people around you. If the people around you have Cash App, then you can just go and download this one. But if a majority of people around you use Venmo, then it might make more sense to use Venmo. Venmo is more popular. You know, you have 15 million ratings on this one. Cash App basically has 5.3, so still, or 6.3, still a lot, but definitely Venmo has more. Another one that is also very popular is Zelle. Now, this one is probably the least popular one compared to the ones that I just showcased, but this one is nice because it might already be built inside of your banking application. So if you want to just send money, you can just check if your bank has, you know, if your bank app has Zelle, or if your bank website has Zelle, you can just Zelle somebody money, and it's actually a very easy process. I've done this before. It's very easy, it's very quick, but I like Venmo a little bit more, but this is also a very good option. So again, it's built right inside of your bank app sometimes, so you don't even have to download an application if you already use your bank app. So that's another very good option. A runner-up is PayPal. This is a very, very popular one. I don't really use PayPal that much anymore. I used to use it a lot, but this is also another option that you basically have as well. So those are basically the most popular send and receiving applications for money if you want to on Amazon, on, on your iPhone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.